Today we're gonna embellish on this guy. I think he needs a little bit more sparkle, so I'm gonna play with some UV resin and see what we can do to bring out these scales a little bit more and bring out his sparkly essence. Okay, I'm enough talking silly. <laughs> anyway, let's get busy. Okay, so this dragon here I worked on with alcohol ink with the base. Um, then I went in with a Posca marker and a chalk marker, I believe, um, and a little bit of paint to create this guy. So what I want to do here is work on building up some sparkle and character and I want it in particular areas and sometimes when I want very specific areas I will work with the UV resin so that way I can paint it on the areas cure it up and keep moving because it, when you're dealing with a, a large amount of resin you know it will flow and it's hard to control and say hey stay put in a zone or this zone so this is one way to do that, especially when you're doing small detail. So that's what we're doing today. I've got a UV lamp here, and here's some scale here. It's meant for pedicures, for putting feet underneath. So it's got a nice large frame, and I can put it over a large section with no problem. Um, so let me work on some basics as far as telling you how to work with this material. And what I'll do is I'll usually cure it for about maybe uh, a minute or a minute and a half, and then move on to another section and work in this zone, do the same thing and keep repeating until I'm finished. Then when I'm completely done with my painting, I will go and put this thing outside, if it's not raining, if it's not misting, and just leave it out in the sun for about, you know, five, 10 minutes. It's a little overkill, but it makes sure that all the UV resin has cured up nicely and there is no doubt in my mind. All right, so I'm gonna show you uh, the resin that I use. And the primary one that I use is Just Resin's UV resin. And the reason it's in a black tube is to prevent UV rays from getting to the product. Now the other one I use, I get it off of Amazon. And that would be the brand, don't ask me to pronounce that. But <laughs> it's a fairly large container here and it seems to do okay. Now what I will do is whatever I do uh, UV resin on, most 100% of the time I will do a final coat of uh, an art coat resin that has UV protection on it to help out because sometimes UV uh, resins will have a tendency to go a little yellow pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna get set up here and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I've got two cups here. I'm gonna pre-mix some UV resin and the one color I'm going to use is this chameleon uh, from Color Obsession. And it has a purple rose green and a green combination. And I thought this is kind of going, well, definitely it has a rosy kind of feel to it. But I thought introducing a couple extra colors might, might be really nice. Uh, and then I've got Sunburst here, which definitely follows into the colors that I've got going on now. And this is a new one from uh, Artist Till Death uh, from her Too Faced line. And it's more of a chameleon flake. So it should offer quite a bit of um, uh, chameleon, you know, magic. So we're going to get started with that. Okay. Now, let's do this in a way that you can see it. What I am very mindful of when I'm working with UV resin and I have mixed up a batch like this ahead of time, I will make a point of putting this cup far away from my UV curing thing each time I turn that on um, because I don't want to accidentally cure what's in my cup and that can happen. I'm going to put quite a bit in there. I think that'll be enough for that one. 
You know what? I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and I'll just repeat it with the second cup, but you don't need to see that too much. Okay. So this is also a chameleon flake and you can see the particles are fairly large, but when you mix it up in the resin, it does break down, but let me, ugh. isn't that fun? Well, just like gold foil, when you put it into resin and you mix it up, the more you mix it up, the smaller the bits will get and you can really break them down. Um, crap. Okay, my AC's running. Um, I would recommend that you turn off your fans when you're working with flakes because, oh my gosh. <laughs> like you can see, they really go to, into the air. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I wanted a lot of chameleon in here, and it will act a lot like glitter, where it's suspended within the solution. So it's not going to alter my UV resin at all. Now the finer chameleons, I'm not so sure about that one, but the flakes definitely are suspended like glitter is. UV resin, when it's uncured, is really easy to clean off with 91% alcohol. And uh, I use these, what does she call them again? Oh yeah, moo sticks, uh, after her, <laughs> her puppy dogs. Uh, but um, Erica at Ours Till Death also has these little stirring sticks that are reusable, that are made out of acrylic. And so what I'll do is I'll clean, I'll mix it up with this end, clean it off, and then I'll work with this end because of the, the sharp, the smaller point on it, uh, especially for specific areas and such like that. But they're also a lot smaller so that they don't tip over the cups. Um, another tip is, actually I got a couple more. Um, when I'm using these paper, let me zoom out again. When I'm using these paper cups with UV resin, um, when I have a batch mixed up, I'll go ahead and I'll double cup it. And the reason for that is just to make it a little darker inside and it helps protect the resin while I'm working with it as far as the UV uh, rays coming in because I do have some rather large windows and I want to be mindful of that. So, yeah. All right, so <laughs> I've got a, a pin marked because I've got this super zoomed in and I wanted to make sure that I noted where I was when it got, when it got off camera. So two tools that I use with when I'm dealing with detail stuff is obviously the sticks that I told you about. And the other one is these guys, which are commonly used for uh, cup turners, but it's got a silicone uh, brush tip to it but you can get in there and literally, you know, apply it like a brush. Uh, sometimes it gets a little hard with uh, tiny work, but it might be easier to do with larger work. So, mucho handy on that part. Let's see, am I You're right there? Ha ha, okay. So I thought I would use the colored one for the scales and such meaning the itty bitty scales. So I'm just gonna put in a couple little dabs and I'm just applying it for now and I'm about to, I'm gonna move it around in just a moment. It's kind of like sometimes when you get a paint, uh, dip a paintbrush uh, and you get a whole bunch of paint, you want to kind of apply it to the area first just to get it off the brush if you're especially if you're going to paint a larger area uh, before you start manipulating it and smoothing it around 
just makes it a little easier to deal with. But that's what I was doing there. And I'm just hitting this side of the scales for consistency purposes. That's got a little bit too much. And I'm not worried if the smaller ones get completely covered up. Now this does have alcohol ink on here, so I can't exactly wipe it down with alcohol ink if I mess up. So I have to try and remove it and work with the, the product as carefully as possible. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I cure it, which is super exciting. Literally. Put this guy right on top, and then it's got, a lot of them will have built-in timers on it, so I just hit 60 seconds and it'll cure it up. Now, usually we'll do a larger area, but I just wanted to show you for now what I'm working with, and I'll let that go. Um, I do wanna say this much, and this is something that's kind of a little bit of an announcement, but yet not an announcement. Oh, let me work that out. Anyway, just note, there we go, note. That's the appropriate word. Okay, now that I've loosened up my tongue and I can talk now, as you guys know, I'm going through a lot of stuff. And what I have done is I've made up some videos ahead of time. I'm calling them my greatest hits videos. Just something I've been uh, talking about between me and uh, another friend of mine who's been consulting with me. But it's a collection of like three or four, uh, three to five videos like all on the same theme, like they may be like all uh, like five pieces of dragon art or five pieces of um, blue dirty pores or something like that. So when times are really tough and I can't mentally do art, I can still provide you a video. So if you see one of those come up, um, it is just, you know, say it's from the heart. I'm still thinking about you guys. I still want to put out good videos for you. So this is kind of a greatest hits collection. Um, but Noah, on that day, I just, I need to give myself a little bit of love. So bear with me on that. And I just have them on the back burner. It's kind of like, you know, having a little, you know, safety card in your back pocket in case you need it. That's what those are for. All right. Now, the rest of this, I'm going to continue working. But I'm going to put this on a time lapse because this is tedious little work. All right. Check out the end when you see the finished picture because it's going to be cool. I did want to show you this much. Here, let me zoom you in. Okay, take my fingernail, trusty. See, it's all cured up, ready to go.
And with that, he is done. All I have to do, I guess when I say all I have to do, I guess it's not completely done, but the details are done. Um, I'm gonna do a flood coat on this guy, but I'm loving the details. I did the gold uh, blend of chameleon within here, of the, some of the larger scales, and then these guys, a lot of the little detail ones and the smaller scales. I did the uh, chameleon that had the red tones in there. And you can see there's a slight shift, but just enough that it adds a little bit of color to it. So, real happy with that. And this was kind of a last minute thought to give a little bit of a speckled pattern in here. And I really like it around the face. So let me know in the, in the uh, comments below, do you like the small little stipples of dots or would you rather them not be there? Yeah, and even put a little bit in the eye. Ooh, I'm happy with this guy. There you go. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up, check the links in the description below. There's my Etsy store, which has some different artwork in there, so go buy some. As well as the Amazon store, which has links for different art supplies. The resin supplies, including the Just Resin uh, UV uh, resin, is uh, from Artist Till Death, as well as the colors. And there's a coupon code down in the description as well. There we go.